He was the first man to ever score over 8,000 points. Philip Mulkey is 82 years old, but remembers training for the decathlon. Being in 10 events, you get injured a lot. Like it was yesterday. At 10 o'clock at night, I would go out and work out for track and might work out until midnight. I love that. I never lost sight of the goal I was trying to achieve, and I always believed that somehow I would get there. And he did make it as the second place American behind Rafer Johnson in the 1960 Olympic trials, then Rome to compete in the Olympic Games. But a groin injury on the first day cut his dream of winning the decathlon short. I uh, decided when Bob Mathias won the Olympic decathlon in London in 1948, when he was 17 years old. And my idea as a small farm boy in southwest Missouri, well, heck, if he did that, I can do it too. How wrong I was. Mulkey had no other choice but to withdraw from the games. Not proudly, but openly, I, I wept a lot because I had trained a long time for this, and I thought, that's the end of it. But the married father of four with a full-time job decided he wasn't done. I was relentless. Training once again became his second job. He worked to beat his personal best, making sacrifices like the Olympic athletes of today. It takes a magnificent obsession. They can't stop what they can't catch. Auburn torched Tennessee for 444 yards rushing. Add to that for the first time in school history, the Tigers returned a kick and punt return for a touchdown. It started with the punt return team. You know, they did good blocking up front. We work on crunch technique. Uh, I'll, I'll do practice every day, so I give them yards to um, the other 10 on the punt return. Marshall racked up 214 yards on his own. Mason's 117 put him over the 1,000 yard mark for the second straight season. So I'll just tell you what the defense gave me. If he crashed, I had to pull it, but then again, they were, they were still sitting there, but they tried to bring a safety over the top, but it didn't too much work, so I was just, if I know if I can beat the end with my legs, I'll keep pulling it. It gives me flashback when we watch film on cam, you know, that guy, you know, Nick's dangerous on his legs, and uh, he's going to keep doing that. You know, when you run the football, um, you know, just keep doing it. And uh, so that's kind of, you know, who we're developing into. I mean, I still believe we can throw the football. There's no doubt in my mind we can, but when you don't have to, um, you know, there's a pretty good feeling when you can line up and, and run the football as well. Auburn's offense was fast. To prove it, the Tigers had scoring drives of 37, 32, and 30 seconds. Inside Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee, Kyle Berger, Alabama's 13 Sports. Larry Wiggins is about to disappear. He's worried his business may soon vaporize. If they close in on us, then it's going to kind of suck. Homewood is considering an ordinance to ban smoking inside his store on Oxmoor Road and the other so-called vape shops in town. People will not be able to try the flavors that we have here unless we go outside or something away from the building, and that's very inconvenient to them. Wiggins believes e-cigarettes help smokers get off traditional cigarettes by lowering dangerous nicotine levels. Homewood counselor Peter Wright isn't buying any flavors of e-cigarettes. There have been studies and heard from law enforcement officials and others that um, they are um, serving as a gateway uh, drug device. Exempt from the proposed ordinance would be the only pipe and tobacco shop in town where one could still smoke and sample inside because more than 80% of its business comes from old-fashioned tobacco. Another change for smokers in Homewood, you'll have to move your butts not 10 feet from the front door, but double the distance to 20 feet. Trying to really make our community safer and healthier, and that's really all we're trying to do. Everybody traveled a long way to get here. Fans, media, oh, and the teams too. But now it's almost time to play football. Alabama and Clemson will lock up later tonight for the national championship. Can the Tide take home another national title to Tuscaloosa? Or will Pelham native Dabo Sweeney prevent Nick Saban from winning his fifth national championship as a head coach? Give Saban credit. He did not deny the importance of tonight's matchup. It's a big game. There's no doubt uh, for every player that's created an opportunity to play in it on both sides. But you got to focus on the next play and do what you have to do to do your job to help your team be successful. And, uh, I think that's where you want the players to stay focused. If the tide comes up short tonight, for some, there might be one very small silver lining. Pelham native and former Alabama player Dabo Sweeney 
will win his first national championship as a head coach. Sweeney knows beating a Nick Saban coach team will be incredibly tough to do. People sometimes will, will say, um, well, anybody can go win at Alabama. Well, no, that's not the case. You know, you, you, you know, not everybody can coach a great team. Not everybody can coach a great player. And I think that he has uh, a gift to be able to do that. We'll have more national championship coverage later in the newscast. I'll speak with SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey about the overall state of football in the league. In Arizona, where you have to watch your head, Tom Anino, WBTM 13 News.